Hello, in the last video, we, we kind of took our we uh, took our Terraform skills to the next level wherein we created a bunch of resources like virtual machines, NIC, public IP address, and it was more of a production ready, full fledged code to be deployed onto Azure. This is about provisioners, wherein provisioners are used to configure your virtual machines once the machine are being built, which means anything you could have done with uh, chef puppet ansible salt you can now achieve them using terraform as well using provisioners however they only work for a newly created virtual machines not for existing ones uh, so we're going to create bunch use bunch of provisioners uh, there are uh, many provisioners available like chef file file is like you can copy your local system local local files or directory from your local system to the newly created virtual machines then you've got local exec remote exec so we're going to use file uh, remote exec and local exec in this particular video provisioners uh, just to remind you again provisioners are like your post configuration once your machine has been built you want to run certain scripts a powershell or a bash scripts or an inert scripts you want to join your ad you want to run certain uh, you install certain softwares like Apache or anything on your virtual machines, newly created virtual machines. You can do that using provisioners now. So let's go back to our Visual Studio Code and start writing some provisioners. Um, so I'm going to create a new virtual machines because uh, provisioners only work on a newly created virtual machine. So I'm going to create a new virtual machines and uh, probably steal some of our already written codes so I would need a public IP address and a NIC card to create a new virtual machines so I'm gonna go to the provisioner.tf uh, replace these values because we've already used them so I'm, I'm gonna remove the count I'm gonna use give it a new name public IP provisioner NIC2 and remove the count I'm gonna remove the VM Nick give it a new name provisioner this looks okay and test configuration TF all right this kind of looks I'm gonna remove the element function as well because we're not using count so we don't need to use this public IP2 and dot ID because public IP is what we have defined over here go back to the main file and copy this piece of code again go to provisioners and paste this um, give it a count as one uh, the VM name is gonna change as well um, Azure VM for provisioner I'm gonna remove the element right from here as well because we're just using a single Nick, keep it as it is. Uh, change the OS disk name for provisioner, and yeah, the rest gonna remain the same. Now we're gonna use the provisioner to copy a file from our local system to the new virtual machines what we're creating, a Linux virtual machines. So I'm gonna create a bash file, bash.sh, and probably write a simple few line of code which is like start with bin bash and then sudo apt get update sudo apt get install apache2 so i want to install an apache2 and give a yes flag and then i would like to start the apache2 sudo system ctl enable apache2 cool and at the end i'm just gonna echo and write it on the html file hello world deployed via tf close the paragraph h1 and then I'm gonna copy this to the var www html html.index 
that's a pretty neat and small script uh, looks kind of okay I'm gonna go back to my provisioner and write some provisioner over here so I'm gonna go back to the documentation and go to file provisioner uh, copy the syntax paste it right over here the source is gonna be the file which wanna copy which is bash dot sh and destination gonna be since it's Linux test admin that's the username and underneath that I'm gonna copy into bash dot sh before this we want to make a connection this local uh, terraform on my system ter uh, my local system needs to communicate with the with the with the new machines which we are creating so we're going to establish a connection so that's the snippet we're going to copy and paste it right over here let me take you through the connection code uh, type is going to be ssh since it's linux vm that's the protocol which we're going to use had it been a windows machine we would have used winrm uh, the username gonna be admin test admin and the password which we're gonna use is this particular password copy this paste it over here host name gonna be uh, the IP address which uh, your local machine is gonna be connecting to so that's gonna be the public IP address dot IP underscore address Alright, that looks okay. I'm gonna now uh, use the remote exec. Remote exec is basically um, a, a provisioner to 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 run scripts. Now this script could be a Bash script or a PowerShell or a Python script. Since it's a Linux machine, we're gonna use uh, some Linux commands. I'm gonna establish the connection again, just like we did it for file put the connection bar over here and underneath the inline we can write the command which we want to use so what I want to do is I want to do an ls hyphen a so that it lists all the files I'm going to create a file or directory rather this was created using tf give it a comma and then I'm going to change the permission of the file by using ch mod and then then the name of the file which is bash.sh give it a comma and sudo bash.sh looks kind of okay that's the file which we have copied and that's what we are running over here cool um, as promised I'm gonna use a local exec as well so local exec is um, like running command on your local system so what I want is um, I simply want to use I simply want to echo the value of the public IP address underscore IP address and uh, I just want to echo the value to the a local.txt file so you would see a local.txt file would be created over here and the value of the public IP address would be pasted right, the code looks okay to me um, if even if we run into some error we're gonna debug it together so don't worry about it um, do a terraform inet let's do a terraform inet and let's do a validate if the init is successful the init is looks okay let's do a validate so uh, I'm gonna repeat myself again that's the beauty of this course uh, we've been writing writing um, the entire uh, configuration in front of you so we are ought to run into some unforeseen errors and and that's that's the best part we're gonna you're gonna you kind of get an idea that how 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 the error is gonna come up what kind of bugs do you generally see in to running your uh, Terraform code into the real environment? All right, the validation looks okay. Um, I'm gonna run a Terraform plan over here, and we should ideally have three resources to be created. We haven't got any local.txt over here, so we should have a local.txt file as well with a public IP address of the virtual machine.
Hmm. Interesting. So we've got a small error. It says on the line number 16 public IP address in the NIC card. Since we haven't got a count of public IP, we can get rid of the star. So let's run a plan again. A uh, star would have been required had we been using a counter function over here underneath the public IP. Since it's a single public IP address we are creating, we don't need a star over here. Alright, so we've got three resources to be added, one virtual machines and a public IP address and a NIC card. So let's go ahead and apply an auto approve. You should see the machine uh, would be started to create within a few seconds. Let's go back to our Azure portal, go to virtual machines and we should have a fourth virtual machine popping up right beneath this in a few seconds. So once the machine has been created, we would see that it would uh, copy the file from here to the newly created virtual machine and then it would run uh, ls-a, list all the, uh, all the directories and the files and then would create a folder and start running uh, the bash script which we have prepared. The public IP address has been, cre has been created, uh, it's trying to create the NIC card now. Uh, the NIC has been created. Um, Alright, so looks like we've got it into a s error. The number of network interface virtual machine provisioner so not for is 2. Um, the number of NIC card is 3. Let's go back to our provisioner code and go to the NIC. Number of NIC card it's in maximum allowed is two. So we've got only one NIC card over here. And we've got a alright, so you see over here that the NIC uh, we've referenced the NIC which was used in this particular um, main file. So we should have a reference the NIC which we have defined in provisioner.tf. So it should have been nick2 so let's do a terraform plan again and see if uh, if any of those resources has been created nothing has been created let's go to the nick we haven't got so nick has been created and this might give an error so I'm gonna um, we, might, we may delete this or, or this might give an error so let's see let's go ahead and try to create one so it has got only one to add if we do a terraform apply now let's see what it does so we might get an error um, that the nick already been used so let's see let's hope we don't get into that state even if we do what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy this and start creating it again so let's start to create the so all right um, as you can see there's a conflict um, that the disk has already been used so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to the disk and gonna remove the disk right from here wait for this to be deleted because this was partially created and, and then the terraform kind of failed so that's that's uh, one of the thing which uh, you should be taking care of while running code on production that even if your uh, terraform plan is successful your apply may fail um, and that's one of the expected behavior of Terraform that even if your plan has been run successful, your reply might get fail as well. Alright, so it's starting to do something. Let's see if it lets us 
create the resources what we've defined so it's kind of reading the state at the moment and uh, starting to create the resources for us so it's starting to create the virtual machine um, let's go to the portal and click on virtual machine so it started to create the virtual machine for us still being created or it's it says it's running over here it says creating over here so if the machine is successfully created uh, it's gonna hit the provisioner it's gonna try to SSH using the password and the username what we have defined in our connection section right over here let me just scroll down so this part is going to use to SSH into the machine and start running the provisioner for us it says it's still creating the resources which is the virtual machine and you see the provisioner file it has successfully connected as you can see and it has started to upload the uh, download the packages apt get update and then apt get apache 2 so as you can see that it's flawlessly it's downloading the packages right from the internet still doing the remote exec that's the provisioner we have used over here and you see that it has created a local.txt file as well which has got the public IP address of the virtual machine our virtual machine has been successfully created if we kind of take the IP address right from here go back to the so you can see that it has got the Apache page as well right over here cool um, if you kind of uh, get the IP address from here and try to SSH SSH test admin at the rate the new machine we have created yes and the password is going to be this one and yep we've logged into the machine and that's the bash script if we do a cat of it has got the file and this was created using terraform that's that's the directory we have created all right our configuration looks absolutely fine and yeah that's that's easy how it is to create provisioners and run uh, scripts once you have created your virtual machines. I hope this was informative. Um, that's it for now. I'll see you in a while with some more video. In the next video, we're going to talk about uh, import how you can import your existing infrastructure into Terraform under Terraform management as well. I'll see you in a while.